<laughs> Hi, I'm Paul. There are over 2,000 expatriates currently living in Zhongshan from all different regions and countries. And it's normal for people to get sick. So how should we call 120 in case of an emergency? Well, today I'd like to take you to check this out. Currently, there are 32 first aid stations consisting of the entire emergency medical network system here in the city. The first aid center is mainly responsible for the first aid command, daily emergency medical treatment, and other first aid support for unexpected accidents, disasters, large gatherings, or other public support. So Mr. Xu here uh, answers a call. You're going to hear this phrase, and he's saying, hello, this is the Zhongshan Emergency Center. How may I help you? All right, Dr. Mai, how are you doing? It's good uh, to meet you. Hi. So uh, can you tell me, how many ambulances do we have in the city? Uh, 119. 119 ambulances 119. for the whole city. Wow, that's, 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 that's very impressive, yeah. Zhongshan Emergency Center coordinates 119 ambulances in the city and dispatches ambulances about 250 times a day, including for first aid and transfer. Generally speaking, after receiving the instructions, the ambulance will set off within about three minutes. They will arrive on site within about 10 minutes in downtown areas and about 15 minutes in the townships. So I'm here with Nurse July, and Nurse July has been kind enough to show me around her ambulance and all the amazing equipment, such as this is a camera that they will insert into a patient's throat so that they can very clearly see if there's any obstructions down there. But that's not all. They also have uh, things like a ventilator, a, defib a defibrillator, and also oxygen and all the equipment they would need to maintain a patient's life from the site to the hospital. Uh, so, uh, Nurse July, thank you very much. Uh, how long have you been a nurse in an ambulance? Uh, for six years. For six years yeah, now. Yeah. And what is your favorite thing about the job? Uh, my favorite thing is about uh, saving a patient's life. You know, this can give me a sense of fulfillment and uh, secret. Yes, it is very, very sacred. Yeah. So what you do is very important. I want to thank you very much. Okay, it's my job. <laughs> <laughs> As expats living in Zhongshan, and we may need to use 120 for health purposes, here are some tips to help you out. As far as communication goes, the emergency medical system here will do everything in their power to communicate properly. However, the possibility of a language barrier is always persistent. In that case, it's best to have a friend or a family member or even a colleague assist you when you're calling 120. But not only that, as expats, it is our responsibility to understand our situational awareness, our locations, to, uh, to see the landmark buildings around us. When you call, remember to speak slowly and clearly, not only to describe your location, but also your symptoms. If you call 120 and the line is busy, don't hang up, because you'll actually be put into a queue. And if you hang up, that means that you go to the back of the line. So stay on the line and someone will be with you shortly. Also keep in mind that your phone number will show up on the computer, along with a general location of where you're at and these systems are improving every year to give a more precise location. As a city in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, Zhongshan has advanced medical treatment and efficient medical services. Citizens and foreigners alike can be reassured.